I was loading up my PFSense test box. Well, it's a virtual machine, but I use it as a test box. And I noticed a little slowness uh, when using PFSense. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it because I was just running some ping test. But when I tried some file transfers, um, I saw some more problems. I'm running the PFSense Community Edition. This is version 2.60, the release version. Uh, my WAN interface is here, and it's got a IP version 6 address. The internal address of the PFSense box is this 10.10.20.14. Now, if I clear this, the IP address on this box is 10.10.20.89. If I look at the default route on this box, uh, the default route is 10.10.20.14, which is the PFSense box. So just to give you an example, um, I can connect to one of my internal boxes. I uh, look at my downloads folder. There's a big file there for Zoom. All right, when I try to get this file, you can see that my transfer rate is only in the kilobytes per second range when it should be in the megabytes per second range. And if I'm on my oh, we control that. Well, it won't let me cancel it. There you go. Cancel. Control C to cancel. If I come out of there. I'm still on my box with the 89 address. If I go to fast.com and run a speed test, this is routing from a test box that has its gateway set to the PFSense box going out to the internet. I'm only getting like five megabits per second. I did a few Google searches and I found out what the issue was. Um, it appears to be related to version 2.6 uh, PFSense. Um, if you go to PFSense under System and Advanced, then hit the Networking tab and scroll down where it says Hardware Checksum Offloading. You want to disable that and then Hardware TCP Offloading. You want to disable that. And here's the information that it gives you about that. It tells you what it is. Say it may be broken in some of the drivers. Um, you have to save the change here. And you have to reboot to save that change. So we're going to go ahead and reboot. We're back from the reboot of the PS Sense. We're going to go ahead and sign in. Sign in as usual. Uh, make sure we can ping our gateway. We can ping our gateway. So we're going to run that test again where we go SFTP.
we're going to get that file again. And you can see it's must, much faster, megabytes per second instead of kilobytes. And if we go, you run that speed test again, should be much faster. This is a 300 megabit circuit. And it's getting about 280, so that's fine. So just remember the settings are under system, advanced, networking and then it's hardware checksum offload and hardware TCP segmentation offload only disable these if you're having speed issues um, apparently it's a known issue um, it may be fixed in a later version thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video